Hey, John Dillon here with a very short tutorial from visualbroccoli.com. The other day I was helping someone with a PowerPoint presentation and I showed them a few of these techniques and it was like I showed them the whole world. They thought, oh my gosh, how did I get by before you showed me these? Well, maybe not that much, but they were very appreciative and I just assumed people knew about these shortcuts, but you never know. So let me go ahead and share them with you. And if you already know them, man, you're already ahead of most of the people. So. One of the things that's very common, let's say for example, I'm gonna go ahead and do a PowerPoint slide on shortcuts you should use in, Power, uh, in PowerPoint or any program. So I've created my copy here and I wanna put you know, all this, the common shortcuts right here. So what I can do is just marquee this text and the most common thing people will do is go up to the file or home in this case in PowerPoint 2010, copy and then duplicate and they'll bring this down here. Well, that certainly works, but anytime you go up to here to copy something, it's not really efficient. Another way of doing it, of course, is to select it, and this gets a little tricky. You need to get right on the line there because you got multiple things selected. I can copy and paste. But another way of doing this is select a text, press and hold down the control key. Now you see near my mouse cursor a little plus I can drag this down and I've now just made a copy. Now I can come in here and edit my copy. So I can go paste control V. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this out a little bit. And there you go. So very easy. And again, if I wanna create another one, I select it, press and hold down the control key and now I have another one and I can go cut. By the way, these are probably the most essential things to remember. If you're gonna remember shortcuts, it's the control, the copy and the paste. And now I can just do X. So I use that as an example to show you what you can do in copy and paste. Another thing before we go here is if you create a slide like I've done here, where I have this slide and I've laid it out kind of with some special characters. And I'm gonna have 10 slides using this style. Well, instead of trying to redo these slides over, over individually, the best thing to do is actually copy the slide and duplicate it. Now you can't drag and drop over here on the thumbnail, but I can use the shortcut key, Control C, Control V, the paste, or Command key on the Mac. And now I've got a duplicate and I can simply change the copy now and move on. So I hope you enjoyed this and really try to make your life a little easier and use these very simple commands. Until the next time, I hope you always find unique ways to make your presentation more editable for your audience. Take care.